Hi, this is Yvonne Galusha, and the purpose of this little video is to talk about range formatting and the width statement. Now, we all know what formatting is. We do it very often with some of the built-in ribbon control functionality. For example, usually we set apart our headers, do something like make them bold, make the interior yellow. Well, sometimes you want to do that sort of thing in VBA code, and so that's the purpose. Let's look at an example. We've already done some videos where we calculate average, and that would be something also that you might want to set apart. So here is a macro that we'll call from our prior macro, but right now let's just look at the details in the macro, and I'm calling it Format Averages. So you can see here, I'm selecting where the averages are, but I'm offsetting one column, so I end up here in A13, and I'm putting a label. Next, you can see the example of a width statement. The purpose for that is to make your code a little more elegant, and also it's easier to read. Otherwise, for all of these, you would be repeating all of this information about the range, which is completely all of that. And so oftentimes when you're doing something, especially like formatting, where you're just calling a property, a property, a property of that, you just end up putting them in with statements, and then you say an end to that with statement, and then it's also important to use indentation. So all of this applies to that whole range, which we've discussed before is a way to select across all the scores the averages. Now this is not inside this width statement because making the interior yellow, that is going to occur separate from the font, but because all of these had dot .font, we basically nested another width construct. And so you can do that, and it's commonly done when you're writing this kind of code. Now you can easily explore various things, but I just am showing you an example of how to basically put a yellow border on the averages, yellow interior I should say, and then make the font bold on the averages, blue color. I went ahead and designated a font type and size just to have a few more properties. Now, this makes sense to call after you calculate the averages, right? So recall that we had a macro calculate averages which called this macro for every column, and at the end of it, we want to format it now. So notice this is another way to call a macro, just use the word call, and then the name of the macro. So we're gonna run this one, it will automatically calculate all the averages, calling this five times, and then calling the format once. If everything goes well, you should see the results. And that worked just the way I intended. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.